Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tag team contest of 20 minutes duration. There will be no rounds, there will be a 45 second interval after each fall and the time will be called every five minutes with two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winners. So, once again, Grapple fans, it's tag team time. 20 minutes tag, two falls to the side. Bobby Barnes, back in the ring after over a year. He's been so busy with his own business. He runs a general store down near Maidstone, Kent, with Langley. And he's taken a lot of time to uh, build this up. That's why we haven't seen much of him in the ring list. But he's found himself a new blind. Adrian Street has gone, and to replace him comes Maurice, the magnificent Maurice. Covered in tattoos, the most way out gear down below the waist, as we'll see in a minute. Yellow socks above red boots, if you're unlucky enough to have a color set this afternoon. Striped stockings and the most amazing multicolor trunks. Not to mention the full makeup on the face. But the big boys from Cosham near Portsmouth, the brothers Johnny and Peter Wilson. And I'm sure we're going to see a great deal more of them in tag contests and solo wrestling, I hope. Because they're both really good. So 20 minutes starting any second now. Second out, time. And it's... Peter Wilson versus Bobby Barnes. Referee, of course, Max Ward again. Bobby Barnes made with a showy get out, but he, he's got some pretty harsh looking attacking moves ready for him, too, I'll bet. Nice, quick, oh, yes. beautiful half Nelson throw, so neat, subtle. <laughs> Peter Wilson, the younger of the two and the lighter of the two, 14 and a half stone of him. Peter Wilson. Back to canvas now, against the more experienced Bobby Barnes. Peter Wilson's only been a pro since uh, April of 75. Attempting a backdrop from that uh, back hammer. And Maurice helping him slightly from outside the ring, spotted, of course, by Ward. Yes, I think a little tag here, says Peter. In comes Johnny Wilson, big brother, and quite a deal bigger. 16 stone of Johnny Wilson. Extremely fit-looking man, indeed. Both of them are, but especially, perhaps, Johnny. He's got the physique. And in comes Maurice against Johnny. Not a bad quick throw there from the double handed wrist leader. Barnes ready to tag and come in against Johnny. And a tag. 
very <coughs> neat to feel tag too. No matter of strength, Maurice, though, the big fella. Shrieking for help from his partner, if he can get near enough to tag him. Very definite backhammer by Johnny Wilson there. Both hands on it, forcing it further and further up between the shoulder blades. Now relaxing it. I'm sorry he did. But he's got the advantage again with the head scissors. That should wipe some of the makeup off. And Marie's still trying to tag. I think he's got him. Yes, it's going to be done over the top rope, remember? I'm not sure whether it was over the top rope. Yeah, it was underneath the top rope and therefore not legal. He's apparently getting out of trouble by himself at the moment. And the, both knees in the back to make sure the back breaker is on underneath the, his neck, underneath the bottom rope. So Johnny Wilson. <laughs> oh yes, that got him. Yes, that's not so easy to get up from. And Bobby Barnes. A bit taken aback by that one. Five minutes. Five minutes. As you heard the timekeeper's voice then, five minutes gone out of 20. Still Johnny Wilson versus Bobby Barnes. Barnes of Lewisham, his partner from uh, Peter Yorkshire. And what happened there quietly behind the referee, although well, he spotted that last one, but I'm not sure what part the first one. All Maurice is doing is just distracting the referee's attention while Barnes goes ahead illegally inside the ring. Every time the referee turns his back, of course, Barnes comes in and Maurice holds him from outside. Directly, Max Ward goes to speak to the man outside the ring. Barnes continues inside. But this time, legally, he goes over on a folding press and might have him. He's got him. First one to Barnes over Johnny Wilson. Six and a half minutes with a folding body press. The first fall to Bobby Barnes and Magnificent Barry. So the Glamour Boys there on the left, the Blonde Glamour team. Is he worried about his lip or his lipstick there, Maurice? Anyway, they're leading by one fall, gained by Bobby Barnes, the shorter of the two over the big man from Cosham near Portsmouth, Johnny Wilson. Second out, second session, commence wrestling. So here we go for the second session. Barnes must continue against Johnny Wilson. And that's what is happening at the moment. Maurice, what? Is, is outside the ring there on his tag rope that's illegally holding him again. And Johnny Wilson really getting the worst.
rules to this, but why, why shouldn't he be with two of them at him? Difficult to blame the referee under circumstances like this because uh, you cannot see. Barnes goes, Peter Wilson knocks him off his tag rope there, but ah, nicely tripped by Peter. If they're going to play this stuff, then why not? So, oh, anything can happen now. Johnny really getting angry in the middle of the ring there. Peter, his young brother, getting knocked off his perch outside it and just waiting for Barnes. And a crunching. I don't know if it was a foul drive, no. It's an easy reverse double leg Nelson. And it comes off for an equalizing fall to Johnny Wilson over Barnes. So in just nine minutes, the equaliser comes to these two boys, Johnny Wilson finally deciding to get a little tough on behalf of his brother. What got him sore was his brother getting knocked off his tag rope there quite illegally by Barnes. Anyway, just about halfway through this tag contest now. And can uh, the two boys from Portsmouth, or Clusham rather, really come back into this now? Second goal. So one fall each now. The next fall is the decider. Johnny Wilson and Bobby Barnes continue quite correctly. And again, outside the ring. Ah, oh, yes, he hit his own man that time. Johnny Wilson get out of the way, dodged back deeply. Johnny's showing his strength now. That's enough for me, says Barnes. In comes Maurice. Let's see how magnificent he is. Standing up for treatment minutes. so far. Ten minutes. Ten minutes gone. Oh, 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 oh. Punch, public warning to Maurice there. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has given his first public warning to Magnificent Maurice and Bobby Barnes. I don't think Johnny's very worried about going out there at all at the moment. No, he's back in no time. Ah, he'll get himself a pen for all by himself in that car. Again, the control of the slam and the reverse double knee hold. A cross press change to. They're thrown off in time. <laughs> Maurice going mad now as he goes for his opponent who is outside the ring, legitimately on his tag rope. But it's Peter in now against Maurice. Broke down on the top row. But he picked him up surely far too early. And Johnny, his elder brother, doesn't like it at all as he comes in. And all, all four men in the ring now. And Peter really getting held from the two blondes. Russell's on the left. And Johnny in trouble from that, or Peter rather, in trouble from that uh, pile driver there. Landed neck first rather than head first. I think he's hurt his back as well. And another crutch hold by Maurice. The slam. And that could be it. There it is. Maurice and Bobby Barnes get the winner. Two to one by Maurice over Peter Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, by two falls to one, the winners, Bobby Barnes and Magnificent Morris. Well, I make it just about 13 minutes gone. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure everyone here will give a very big hand for the brothers from...
from Portsmouth, John and Peter Wilson. Yes, I hope we see them again. But it's a win this afternoon for the two glamour boys on the left there, Maurice and Bobby Barnes, winning 2-1 over the Wilson brothers. And with that, it's goodbye from all of us on this first day of January. And here at Woking, have a good year and a good week. Until next week.